Sickness.net. What's up with the sickness? It's your boy Coop, man. We back at it again. This time I got a real special interview this time, man. I got a couple, I got a real OG on here and, and we got our, our, our brother from another country, man, who also been hanging in the rap game, putting a big name for himself. I want you to go ahead and introduce yourself, man, to the Sickness listeners. What's up, Joe Young and Cocaine? What's up, man? What's up, man? Good. Oh, man, it's a, uh, what's, what's throwback Thursday? <laughs> it's a throwback Thursday, I would assume, and, um, man, what's going in on y'all in? Y'all got this, uh, y'all been having a lot of things going on before we get into the old. I guess we'll just, um, stay current on the new right now and then get into the old. But uh, y'all got this fan appreciation thing going on. Y'all just dropped the mixtape, and it's been a big movement. I've been seeing videos on YouTube and things of the nature. Wanna, you want to fill us in on what's going on with that? Yeah, man. We just, man. We just, we just, we just, we just, we just did some good music for. We just, we just bringing that, you know, we bringing that gangster sound back in. This whole uh, fan, fan appreciation tape, man. It's just strictly for the fans, like, you know what I'm saying? Me and the OG, uh, Cocaine, we, we, we came together and we made a big project happen, man. We reached out to some of our connects, like Game, Ross, uh, Chris Brown, The Illis, Shorty Mac, uh, who else? Hot Boy Turk on that joint, uh, yeah. DJ Mustard on that joint. Buster Ron, Ray Kwan, Buster yeah, Ron, Ray Kwan, uh, Hutch, my daughter, Anissa. I mean, it's, Man, it's crazy, man. Like, like, like Joe said, fam, it's one of them ones to where it's, it's bringing back good music because a lot of the popular music had became sour and certain things that was out there didn't match up. You know, it's like a lot of people running around claiming they real with it when they fake it in the $3 bill. So what we wanted to do is, is go back to just making good old music. And West Coast was an essence that just didn't stay on in California. It touched so many, so many, uh, uh, countries and different other things like that. And it's always an honor to have somebody, whether they in Cal, whether they in New York, whether they in Cleveland, whether they in Germany, Australia, <laughs> to be able to gravitate to that real sound because gangster rap, you know, if it wasn't because of gangster rap, which we all called it reality rap when we was mixing it up with easy and all them but then white media turned it around from you know your fox news back then turned it around and called it gangster rap but the gangster rap is was a perfect outlet for brothers like 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 my boy in germany they got their own ghettos and hardships out there just like we do out yeah, here. Man. yeah you know yeah, what i'm yeah, saying man. so that's our whole push is to bring back that sound because a lot of artists out there, you don't know if they this person or that person or this person, and it leaves the fans hanging because you always got to go back to how the fans made you in the first place. And when you trip out on them so much and you leave them hanging, you know, you leave yourself suspect. Is it about the fans in the first place? And the good thing about mixing it up with cats about like like with Joe is that we get it because the fans is is another way of saying the streets because the streets run that and a lot of our brothers and sisters I pray for them even still they forget about that and the good thing about mixing it up with him hey it's like steel sharp and steel to keep it all the way real hey man we've been doing some stuff on the internet that's been blowing the majors away. That's because of one thing. Is it just us? No. It's the streets. It's the people. The and whenever fans, you touch man, the people, the you know what I'm saying? Because the people speak for itself. You see what's happening in Ferguson and, and all these in Ukraine and, and all these places all over the world. The people going to have to start talking. So that's why we wanted to put out something just for the people man, with a caliber. Yeah, with all those all-stars on there, we gave it away for free. Imagine yeah. that. We just wanted to show the fans, man, that, uh, you know, we do it for them because me and Cole, we just kind of sat down and we was like, yo, 
fuck this shit. We ain't following no trend. We just going to put out some dope music and let the people respond to it because my my man Co he told me that, you know, like his homie uh the dude uh Jerry Heller, he told him that you know, the fans make a hit. You can't make a hit, you know what I'm saying? So mm -hmm. there's no such thing as a hit. If the fans don't like it, they don't like it. So if you if you're a high caliber artist, you can create your own. If you're authentic, that's a trend right there. You just got to be authentic. And real people going to relate to that too, so it really don't matter. So we ain't jumping on no bandwagons of, you know, all of these all of these rappers that uh, they coming up right now and because of the internet and, you know, they ain't got to spit. They just got to have a hit. And they gone, so you being, they gone tomorrow. Not to, not to cut you off, but you, you, you being over in Germany and whatnot and, you know, you, you, you paying attention to the, to the American culture and also in being involved in it. What is your opinion on music right now? Like your honest opinion on rap? My honest opinion on rap is that, see, the times are getting very extreme right now, man, with everything that's going on in politics and everything that's going on around the world. And I really think that the people are going to start, they want that real music back. So the state of music right now, with all these skirt-wearing skinny jeans niggas, like, it's, you know, it's going to be over soon. You know, the real music going to come back. I mean, everybody can do their thing. And I don't knock nobody if they feed their family, whatever, whatever they doing, because that's that's what it's about eventually, feeding your family. But, you know, people, if they can feed their family with the music they doing, it's cool. But, you know, people, they fed up with this shit, man. They just want the real music back. So, you know, that's what we deliver. That's more why we got them. Yeah, yeah. You seen Kendrick open that shit right back up, man. Like, he's just coming with that good music. Like, you know, it don't matter what's on the radio. It really don't. Because the people going to decide what they want to listen to and not what these major corporations want to push up on you. You know what I'm saying? So if you got a cause, it really don't matter who you work with. If people like the cause you have and people see that you messing with the fans and you responding on Twitter and you responding on Facebook, and you really interact with them people, that's what people respect. You know what I'm saying? Like, and that's just what it's going to boil down to, mm -hmm. bringing the real music and the real people back. That's so what you it was, is. Um, I was online uh, checking out something from you, Coke. Um, you you had spoke up. You were talking to L.A. Weekly um, a couple months ago, and you had said something about you um Rappers not being vocal enough on on certain issues, right? And uh, you want to go into more detail in, into your opinion on that? Well, also, it, 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 it's it's fear. It's uh, they rather be in their comfort zone, rather be in the house than to be in the field. Put it like that to 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 tell you in a parable or metaphorically speaking, it's just like. How are, how are we, and it's all got to do on the character, and everybody that's, that's listening ain't paying attention. We get that. But my objective is to just each one reach one. And it's like a lot of these rappers run around here narcissistic, you know what I'm saying, when in turn music has been the only outlet, outlet for us in hip-hop. A lot of brothers' and lives have been saved with hip-hop. So, therefore, it's like when you go, where do you go when you continue to go to uh, go to apply for a job and they still got on there and put down your, your color? See, we have been sectioned off. That's why you have a lot of rappers from, from the suppressed environment in the hoods and the ghettos. They, that's the one thing they can do because they section us off to go ahead and either do entertainment, basketball, or, or, or do what we've been doing in slavery, entertain in front of the master. So now it gets to the point to where you get all your stuff, you get everything that you have, but then you cannot do the most simplest thing in the world is speak up for your people, speak up for some of the wrong things, because you know why they can't? Because the content of the character is not focused on that. 
They're focused on, hey, ain't no problems, ain't no this and that. It's problems all over the planet. And it's like those people that bought your records that spend on you, you now have an obligation to go back and get some of the people that God blessed you to get up out there get along. And it's a lot of our brothers and sisters, you know what I'm saying? Not a lot, but it's, a, it's these entertainment Negroes or whoever it is that have the concept that that money is everything. And, and like my brother Joe just once told me, money is not, they type of money is God, oils, and drugs. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, in order for us to be able to, to, to do what we need to do, we have to challenge some of these people that I ain't going to tell you what to do with your money, but they rather give $70, $80 million to the richest, whitest institution instead of going down Compton Boulevard and having stuff everywhere. You know what I'm saying? Putting it out there. You see what I'm saying? But that's – God bless them for that. And all I'm saying, us as rappers, if anything – that that we want to do is accountability. You know, you come from the hood and you sell millions of records. You have an obligation to go back to them same streets and do better. Well, they spitting on my face. Well, they doing that. Well, then that's the point of being resilient because if you look at our ancestors, they rolling over in their grave because these Negroes out here done lost their fucking mind. But at the same time, if we can't continue to point the fingers at certain people for things that we can do ourselves. So what I decide to do and continue to do is continue to invoke the spirit of God, the uh, tell a testimony, and get with like-minded people that have a family structure. The baddest thing about the reason why some of these rappers out here themselves, they have a chance to change, but because you because of the family dysfunction in their stuff, they can mask things all day, but then if, 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 it's a, if it's a duck, you know, when you're looking through the eyes of reality and truth and honesty the way it is, you can all, if you can, they can claim to be an eagle, but you always can tell they're a duck by their actions because action speaks louder than words. So if it's accountability, I can't continue to point the finger at somebody because that's he cast the first stone without sin. You cannot judge. God, ultimately, God is the judge of everybody, even if those want to be selfish or those don't want to be selfish. God is not a respecter of person. So taking that type of concept, you know, it's for us to go ahead and lend our ear to wisdom and feel encouraged to go ahead and use our influence to really help the next person or inspire the next person and and because that's the whole thing, your attitude determines your altitude. And if we hear for one reason, I tell everybody, they say, "Damn, you've been over your voice, been over 50 million records. You, 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 you've been the most featured artist, really, really the most featured artist in the history. Quiet has kept you underrated, this and that." I said, "Yeah, all oh, that's cool, but the most successful and the, my biggest accomplish is." Is, is my wife for 30 years that I've been with and eight children and being able to go out there in these correctional facilities, these juvenile halls, or wherever God sent me, and to inspire them. And people are like, wow, that's more important. Yes, that's more important because guess what? I can't take a Bentley to, he I can't take a Bentley to heaven with me. But the things that I can leave, it's the same thing with Pac left. People will always remember Pac because whether – People want to nitpick his certain things, which we all are not perfect on this planet. He always left something. Brenda had a baby. Talk about our people. Keep your head up. And see, if I want to in, in, be any type of artist that want to leave something, I want to leave an impression on my people that are suffering. And as far as that, all people. I don't care if you're black, white, Chinese, purple, green, whatever. And see, that's the thing that we have to be on, that grown man movement. And it's a pleasure to be able to be with a young person like this that's been in the game, Joe Young. He's about his family. And that's what the whole the whole movement is about a family push. We're doing our UIPMs, which stands for Unity is Power Movement. It's whenever whenever is 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 community involved, then that's when everybody can celebrate. So what God is going to do, he's going to move people out the way, and he's going to, 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 to push back good music, music with substance, so 
to a to a to a to a world and to a ghetto and to the ghettos that need us to do that right now. So so Joe, um how often are you in the States, man? Or how how often did you get a chance to get over here? Um, I mean, uh I I've been back and forth uh to the US uh in the last two years like quite frequently. I had a show out in Beverly Hills, I had a show out in uh New Jersey, I did some footage, I did a few episodes of my uh, uh reality show I'm um dropping we dropping next year. So whenever I need to go to the US to do something, I just go there. It's not like oh I can't go right now. Because if I got something to do, I just go wherever I need to go. You feel me? So I can't really say that. But, I mean, if you want to know months out the year, I'm probably in the U.S. for approximately, like, four months out of the year. Yeah. You so. just mentioned a reality, sh- a reality show you, you you shot piece of over in the States. Um, how long have you been working on that? Um, I've been working on that for like uh, one and a half years now. It's called um, The Young Life, and it's an unscripted reality show. So, for instance, when I go to to Cali and I meet Coke or whatever, or I meet other people I I deal with where, all over the place, um, I just have my camera guy go with me and just film everything like real life. So it's not really – it's like more like a documented journey. That's what I call it. It's a documented journey. It's not scripted. Whatever happens, happens. You know what I'm saying? I can't really control it. So you got a re- lot of real emotions in there, too. And you get to see a lot of real stuff, like no sugar coat no, yo, can I rehearse that real quick? That came off wrong. No, none of that. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's real life. You got me in the studio with different people. You got me, uh, you know, just shopping for my wife, talking to my wife on Skype about real life situations. You know what I'm saying? Like, just doing real stuff, man. You know, let the people see that it's not really, it's not really what they think it is. What they, you know, what's getting shown in the media about this rap life. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's really stressful, and you know that stuff is documented too like if you got conversations with people and you working on a deal and the deal goes through last minute and you know people you're trying to reach people on the phone people trying to call you back so it's like real emotions and real you know it's a real reality show so i think people gonna gravitate to it i've been talking to a few channels tv channels too in the u.s i can't really disclose on right now but we working on a few big things and um, you know we're gonna have we're gonna have a lot of real stuff in there, man. So just look out for that one. You know what I'm saying? That's how we do it. It's a little sickness. 